Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a first impressions review on a very talked about product and that is the Dermacol foundation. This stuff, you guys, let me just be straight up with you. I actually had no idea what it was until I went to Mexico and my Theo was like, oh my god, have you heard of that new foundation that everybody's talking about? It's Dermacol. It's supposed to be super amazing. She told me that it was so good that they actually, whoever created it, sold the patent or whatever to Hollywood and they use this on all the movie stars and whatnot because it's just such a good foundation. And I think it was actually created back in Europe. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it was created in Europe and it is the first of its kind to ever be a foundation that is completely full coverage, 50% pigment, and has SPF 30 in it. Like 50% pigment, that's insane. So it's saying that this is highly pigmented. This is what it looks like on my skin, you guys. This is the foundation right now that I'm wearing. I actually am really, 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 really satisfied with it. And I got the Dermacol foundation online on um, Groupon for literally like, I think it was like 12.80 or something. It was like $13 on Groupon and what was also really cool is that the first one they sent me was not my color I got 209 and it came out extremely ivory so I told them yo it's not my color sorry I need this one instead and they gave me 218 for free so I have both of these here and I'm going to try it out for you guys um, I would suggest that if you're going to purchase these definitely definitely really take a look at the colors that they have because the 218 actually looked like it was going to be a little bit darker than what it was and it came out a little bit lighter you can't really tell here because I have all my other stuff on but in the video you'll see what I mean um, so definitely take a look at the shades and really try to figure out what is best for you I know it's really hard with just pictures but if you guys want to see my honest review on the Dermacol full coverage foundation then please keep on watching okay so I want to do primer on one side and then no primer on the other side just because I want to show you guys fully what it looks like with and without primer and then I'll kind of just go in a little bit on my first impressions so the color that I'm going to be using today and I really hope that it's my color is um, 218 I actually ordered what was it 209 but it was like really really fair it was literally like an ivory color so I'm hoping that 218 is going to be better um, right away what I see when you take it out of the box is it just looks like a really interesting tube like maybe a tube of toothpaste or something and it just says dermical makeup cover first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face you know how you always have like a favorite side like one side that just always comes out better I'm going to go ahead and prime my favorite side of my face. And while this primer is setting in the skin, I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation to the other side. So what you have to do when you first get it is you have to see, I don't know if you guys can see it like already coming out like crazy because of the heat. The heat in Arizona makes everything like explode when you open it. But you have to get it. You have to put the lid on backwards to pop it, like pop the little seal and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that little dot that came out of there and I'm going to put it on my skin and just dot it on there. So it did say that a little goes a long way and I actually, all of the reviews that I watched and read did say to use a little bit. So I'm probably gonna just use this one dot for my whole face and we'll see how that goes. Like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be my color because I already had to fight with the 209 color. So let's just start patting it into the skin. Right away, what I'm actually noticing is it's not something that you want to let sit on the skin too long because it doesn't look like it's wanting to blend out as easily, but we will still go in there and just start blending it out. Okay, so this one is just a little bit light for my skin, which I guess is okay. It could be one that I might wear in like the winter or it could be one that I just have to really warm up so this is just the one layer okay and I'm noticing that it is I don't know it like blends out smooth but I still see a lot of my imperfections that I have on my face you know like is this really gonna work I don't know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face now the side that was um, actually primed and see how that looks see how it looks once it's all together let me just I'm actually gonna try not to let it sit as long and start blending right after I place it so this is one full layer and this is what it looks like with primer and without primer 
what I'm noticing is it does give very nice like even even coverage but I don't know about the whole like extremely full coverage foundation I feel like I don't know about that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and take some more of the foundation and just put it over my problem areas and see how that looks we're gonna layer this up a little bit and see how that goes go over those problem areas which for me right now are my little breakouts. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just bring this down my chin to help with the blending since I am noticing that it is lighter than my skin tone. This is what it's looking like with that second layer, you guys. I don't know, I don't know if I'm as impressed as I thought I would be. On YouTube, some of these people were like making it look like this was just the bomb foundation and I don't really see that, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just use whatever's left on my hand and just put it on the rest of my face and see how that looks. A little does go a long way, you guys, but I feel like it's not as full coverage as it said it was. And again, it could just be because I've got a color that is not my color. Cause this is a bit light and I don't know if you can see that from like where my neck is to my face, it's a bit light. But let's talk about how it feels on the skin. There's no powder or anything on it. It's just on my skin. It feels really light, which is a huge plus for me because I hate when you try to find full coverage foundations and they just feel so heavy on the skin. That's one of my worst things ever. I hate feeling like I have so much foundation on my skin. And right now this doesn't feel at all like I have like a crap ton of foundation. I feel like I could give somebody a hug and it's not gonna like transfer onto their shirt, you know what I mean? I am noticing that it does blend out really nice, but what I would probably suggest is actually putting the product on your sponge and then going into the skin as opposed to like trying to dot it like you would with a more liquidy foundation because it's not one that you want it to just like sit there for a long time before you go out and blend it. So I would definitely suggest putting it on the sponge and then putting it on the face and seeing how that goes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and off camera I'm just gonna finish up my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like once you have all your makeup on and see if I can kind of like warm up the skin because it's a little bit light, you know what I'm saying? This is what it looks like with some makeup on. It actually doesn't look very bad once I have the whole face on and I was able to just kind of warm it up. It's still a little bit too light but I don't think that it's like horrible. I would rather my skin look just a bit too light than look dark and orange, you know, compared to the rest of my body because you can always warm it up. That's the best thing about getting something that's a little bit too light. I didn't do anything super crazy on my eyes because I wanted the focus to still be on the face, but you guys can tell me what your final thoughts are. What I want to say, or I will tell you what my final thoughts are, and you guys can tell me what your opinions on this is. Um, what I will say that I noticed when I was doing the rest of my face and it had time to sit and I wasn't in these harsh lights was that it looked really 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 pretty and natural like the foundation itself looks so natural on the skin it was amazing you guys and i'm even looking at it now and i'm like holy shit this looks so nice i'm like this is nice like it doesn't look creasy when you like smile i get that a lot where um right here will crease when i smile because i like to smile a lot mm -hmm. um but that will usually crease i didn't put all over powder what i did was i took the lighter Dermacol shade that I had under my eyes and used it as a concealer and then set that with powder But that's pretty much all that I set everything else is just the actual Dermacol foundation itself closing thoughts on this I don't think that this is as Extremely high coverage as they make it out to be and I could just be saying that because I don't have a color That's exactly my skin color and I don't know Maybe it's just because I have a little more bumps than normal if my skin was more clear I think it might look a little bit better, but I am extremely 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 impressed with the coverage in the sense that it looks so natural like the formula is a little bit thick when you take it out of the tube but when it's on the face oh my gosh you guys it looks so pretty it's almost like it's almost like an airbrush finish like I want to get up close so you guys can actually see it's literally almost like an airbrush finish but it's not anything that looks cakey it's not I, I don't know how to explain it to where it doesn't sound like I'm just like this is the best thing I've ever tried because it's not I mean I've obviously tried other foundations that have blown my mind but this just looks so 
pretty and so natural on the skin to me it doesn't look like it's a full coverage crazy um, foundation to me it looks a little bit more natural and really pretty if you put on just a light layer it's gonna do what it needs to do and not look cakey which I love um, so overall I would say that I do like the product I may want to go out and maybe get one more shade just to play around and see what actually is my shade but I mean this doesn't look bad at all I actually really like it so I would definitely suggest it I will put all the links down below where you can find this I got mine off Groupon for 12 or 13 dollars they also have it on eBay Amazon it's all over the place I will put all the links down below for you guys um, if you enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more first impressions reviews of these highly talked about products on Instagram and YouTube and all that good stuff please like this video give it a huge like because it really does help me out a lot um, and it also just lets me know what you guys like if you guys really do like these reviews then of course I'm gonna do it for you guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really does mean the world to me every time I see my subscriber count change and I'm talking like beautiful beautiful positive changes because it's been such a long time I'm always seeing like I look at my demographics all the time on YouTube so I'll go into my little YouTube studio and I'll look at it and it, it'll say up here it'll be like oh well you lost 200 and something subscribers today I'm like oh that's it but lately it's been like plus subscribers lately it's been like plus 16 subscribers so I'm actually gaining subscribers and that makes me so happy to hear that you guys are liking my content enough to subscribe to me I will be back every single week with new videos for you guys and thank you again for tuning into my channel I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>